Dude, why are you even trying to grow your hair out, man? You're already going bald. Just shave it off anyways, man. What's up guys, it's DJ from Carrots and Brotherhood. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something a bit more serious. If you enjoyed today's content, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, click the little bell to turn on notifications. That way you can be one of the first people to be notified whenever mm. I upload new content. It, it irks me to no end. Every time I see this comment, you know, this, somebody will leave a long comment about how they're losing the hair and how it's affecting them negatively and the impact that it has on their family life and their personal life and their work life and you know and they put this whole thing out there and they're really looking for just empathy you know and you get that one guy that comes in there and he's like just shave it off bro and he's <laughs> and like every time i see the comment i wish i could just fucking delete it you know like because here's the problem with that that, that statement. It's not that shaving your head is bad. If you're balding or if you're losing your hair and you, you know, you're thinning out and you think that shaving your head is gonna go ahead and move past it. Hey, guys, I support anybody who wants to shave their head. There's a whole subreddit dedicated to guys supporting each other about shaving their head. I love that. All right, when somebody is talking about how they feel negative about regarding, you know, regarding hair loss and how the hair loss is negatively impacting them, guys, it's not because we're losing our hair the hair loss is not the problem, okay? It, it never is the problem. The, the core issue here is that when a guy loses his hair, his identity is beginning to change. His self-identity that he's known for, you know, 16, 17, 18, 20, 30 years, however long they lived before they started noticeably losing their hair, that identity is now beginning to, to rapidly change. And a lot of guys aren't ready for that. It's a shock, it's traumatizing to lose your hair because you're beginning to have to come to terms with the fact that your old identity is is, is, is leaving you. Whatever your reasoning is behind telling somebody to, to shave their head, guys, really think about the other person. The, the, think about the person on the other side of the conversation. What you're telling them is what they feel as a human being, their human condition, what they're feeling is pointless. It's pointless for them to, you know, feel depressed or for them to feel sad, um, in, in, in the worst cases to feel, you know, suicidal. Men experiencing hair loss, I really want to challenge us to come together as a community, as a community and stop telling each other to shave our heads. Instead, I'd like to challenge you and challenge everyone who's watching this video, I want you to, I want to challenge you to instead of saying just shave your head, to just listen, man. All right, because most times the guy who's losing the hair, well, they're not stupid. I mean, they knew they're losing their hair, you know. And what they're what they're looking for is not for somebody to tell them just shave it off. If somebody would, if one person would tell me to shave my head, I'll be great. No, obviously that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for empathy. They're looking for somebody who understands. They're looking for somebody to say it's gonna be okay. You'll get past this. That's all they're looking for. Whenever you think that you want to tell somebody to shave their head, regardless of where your intentions lie when you say it. You know, one really has to think about how the listener, the person on the other side, is gonna receive your advice. In some cases, you telling somebody to just shave their head, I mean, hey, that, that's what the whole subreddit about just shave your head is about. If they're on the subreddit, that's what they're there for. Tell them, shave their fucking head. That's the point. But don't go onto like trustless, you know, hair loss talk forums or on YouTube, or somebody's like spilling their guts about how you know hair loss is negatively impacting their life and then leave this snide remark about just shave your head uh it, it, it doesn't help so what i want to say is hair loss you know it's a big deal if you're a guy that's watching this video now then you should understand just just how just how life-changing uh hair loss can be we have guys that are losing their hair earlier and earlier these days you got, you got young guys man 16 17 18 years old losing their hair Go back to when you were 18 years old or 16 years old and imagine having a receding hairline in high school, dude. Do you know how bad you would be eaten alive? Of being a young guy losing your hair? That, that's, that's rough, man, that's rough. And I don't wish that on anybody. I was there, dude, I experienced that shit. That is rough. And it can cause some serious issues like, you know, depression and anxiety. Um, it can cause you to alienate yourself from your friends because while, while you're you know, hanging out with your friends you, you always wonder are they looking at my hairline? Did, did they notice that my hair is thin? Oh shit, where's my hat? Like, I can't even fucking leave the house, man, where's my hat? Dude, like people freak out over this shit, man. Be a bit more empathetic about this situation because you never really understand how one comment could impact somebody's day. You know, be it a positive or negative comment, compliment like, yo man, don't worry about your hair loss, I've been there, I'm here to listen to you if you want to talk. 
that one comment could help that guy get through his day. You know, like, it's gonna be okay. This dude, John Doe, understands how I feel and he said it's gonna be okay. On the, on the flip side, you know, if somebody says, just shave your head, you're, you're invalidating somebody's identity. You know, there, there's a whole movement about guys embracing the bald head, um, bald from hair loss. And, you know, they support each other and they take pictures and they upload the pictures and you're like, yo, bro, you look great, da 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 da. At the same time, there's a whole, there's a, there's a parallel uh, group of guys who don't want that. They don't want to shave their head. They want their fucking hair, man. That's what the fuck they want. And unfortunately, without a hair transplant or minoxidil or finasteride, some people don't have access to those things, but they don't want the alternative, which is shaving their head. They just, you know, they're, they're stuck. My mission, Carrots and Brotherhood's mission, my mission, my mission is all about positivity, empathy, and transparency. And I'm really trying to impress those values on other guys because I think as a community, whether you're the shaved head community or you're the, I'm gonna regrow my hair somehow community. Uh, guys, we, 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 we're not talking, man. We're not fucking talking and what's ended up happening is we're just, we're just creating this, this, this chasm between us. <laughs> I know this video is a bit more passionate than my other videos, but I feel, I really feel this strongly about it. We gotta do better, guys. We really, really gotta do better as a community. If it, if it takes me to, to make this kind of content and to put it out there, whether you love it or hate it, I'll, that's what I'll do. Because I, I, I do think that we all need to support each other in this.